Okay, so I wanted to show y'all this before I end my test. We brought in, I mean, we used 5.53, well, 5 kilowatts. And like I can say it's been three days, and I think we did six. So we did about 13 kilowatts. 13 kilowatts, and like I say, we still have a lot of amp hours left, and we probably can push about 15 to 17 kilowatts. But like I say, we have, we are gonna do another test because like I say, we got rainy days coming. I have to end this test because I want to charge these batteries back up and do a real test because that was like a, you know, I tricked, I kind of bypassed the system to do that test. But this time I'm going to do the real test when the rain do come in about three days. So let me charge these batteries up and then we'll get to it. We'll do the real test. All right, see y'all in the next video. All right, guys, so the battery did get drained down to 27%, but I hooked the solar back up. If you can see the plus mean that that's we're bringing in 23 amps, 1.2 kilowatts in on the solar side. And I only did that because we do have rainy days coming and I want to have these batteries at least fully charged for those actual rainy days that's coming because what I did was the bypass, I bypassed the test to show y'all, you know, how long the house will run without solar coming in. But we all know if the solar was hooked up, we would never be at 28%. We'll be at probably 95, 83%, something like that. We'll never get down to 27%. And that's that's the cycle right there. Because as long as that sun, I mean that solar come in, then hey, we're gonna always be charged. Now, I only did that just to show y'all if the solar did come in for three, four days, then what would happen? Which, it passed my test. It literally passed my test. So. I am gonna do another one when it actually start raining. That way I can show y'all, you know, even though it's gonna bring in a little bit of watts, you know, just cause it's a cloudy day don't mean it's gonna, not gonna bring in anything. So I want y'all to stay tuned. So my next test is I gotta get two of these batteries up, which I'm about to start hooking that up to try to get those batteries up to 49 as the same three modules. So it's two modules that's not at 49.9. And I need to get those up. Then I'm gonna start the test on the Nissan Leaf 7, 10.5 kilowatts. But you know, I always have to charge them up to 100% before I even start my test. Cause I wanna show y'all what it can do at 100%, which is around 55 volts. I might charge around 56.5 volts. Charge it around there and then I start my test. So y'all stay tuned, man. Thank y'all for subscribing to my channel, the people that have, have subscribed to my channel. I appreciate all the love, especially if you're hitting thumbs up and you, you know, come in, you let me know that you like my videos and stuff like that. It keeps me going because I do want to show people that you can live off grid, you know, drown right now. But I just want to show people that you can live off grid because a lot of people get discouraged and stuff like that because a lot of other people message on you know, YouTube that they might, you know, watch before they see my video. See, my videos is showing y'all that you can do it. You just gotta side your system right. So, make sure y'all, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Please, you know, subscribe to my channel. That way I can, you know, and tell people, share it. You know, that way we can bring in a whole bunch of people that ever, that all, I mean, that thought about living off grid and always was discouraged because they might've seen something that somebody had posted that discourage them and stuff like this. So I'm willing to do tests on anything. You know, I might buy a new inverter and run a test on that because I know a lot of people don't, you know, their house not gonna run off 5,000 watts. You know, you're gonna need at least 10 to 20,000, you know, 12 maybe, you know, if you wanna keep everything on or have a lot of stuff running at one time, you know, stuff like this. So y'all make sure y'all, like I say, like this video if you like it and then we can post more videos and y'all can see me do the test on this Nissan Leaf battery. All right, see y'all in the next video. All right, guys, so I'm back and I wanna show y'all that I hooked the solar back up. And as you can see, we already back at 376 amp hours, 95%. And that's what I was showing you with the solar. It's like a loop. I mean, it's just gonna keep going and going and going and I barely would even get down to 80 percent like I might use it like I'm gonna record it tomorrow to show y'all because it's early in the morning right now I just got off work well I got off work earlier and just woke up 
So I'm showing y'all that the system's sitting at 95% with the solar. It's just going to keep looping like this. It's not going to, you know, go down all the way to 40, 50% anymore because of the solar is being hooked up to it and coming in. Now, we do have some rainy days coming. Like, I don't know if the sun's going to come behind those rainy days, but I do know we do have rainy days coming. And that's the reason why I cut the test at 27%. And went ahead and hooked the solar back up so we can get the batteries charged back up to 100%. Just to so show y'all that this is the loop. I mean, I'm going to continue to, you know, record and show y'all more of how, you know, the system's going to work. And today I'm going to hook up the two batteries that's low on the Nissan Leaf. And I'm going to bring them back up to the same voltage as the other three so I can run the test on the Nissan Leaf battery. That's 17.5 kilowatts. So that's all I wanted to show y'all. I just wanted to show y'all that, you know, the system is really like a loop. Like when I did the test on my 10 kilowatt batteries, when I only, when I had 10 kilowatts instead of 20 now, you know, it was still a loop with the solar coming in. It was still a loop. You know, 20 is overkill, but hey, it's a, over, it's a good overkill because we can last for about five to six days without any sun, you know, without the solar coming in. So, you know, that's what we done pulled out of the batteries. Two kilowatts. You see time right there. Well, it's like 11 o'clock. It's like 11, almost 12. So, that's where we at. We only bringing nine. We only using about 200 watts. Close to 200 watts. One ninth. Bringing two amps up out the batteries. So, and I ran that down. So, I got to get that back up back up and then i gotta get this one back up too before i can run that test see that's sitting at 42.4 and that's the 7k those two batteries down now the chevy volt sitting at 42.4 and i definitely have to get that up in order to charge these up because i like my batteries to be sitting fully charged you know when i disconnect them and stuff like that so i'll see y'all in the next video all right guys so we're sitting at 86 percent 53.8 bringing in 11 amps, 342 on the amp hours. And we use 5.1 kilowatts. And this is the rainy days I was talking about. It's kind of overcast right now. It's kind of jumping, you know, sun coming out and then the sun going back in. So that's why the solar, it'll be at 1400, now it's at 600. But, you know, like I said, we didn't know, I didn't know if it was going to rain, which it did rain, and then the sun comes out, and then it, it leaves again. That's why I wanted to charge the batteries up to show y'all on these overcast days, these actual overcast days, what the uh, battery be doing. But like I said, I won't really go past 80% because 20 kilowatts is a lot, you know. I would have to have almost everything on in the house at the same time for about three, four hours in order to drain the battery down. So I'll just shoot another video tomorrow, you know, letting y'all know how long, you know, we're gonna last. Like I say, we just pull 5.1 kilowatts out the battery. I'll probably stop the video if we pull about 10 to 12 out the battery. But okay, I'll see y'all in the next video. All right, guys, so I'm back. And today is the 21st of November. And what I want to show y'all is, look at how the system is just looping. We have 322 amp hours left. By the end of, well, by around 3 o'clock, these batteries will be, uh, would have been fully charged. So, what I'm showing y'all is, look how many kilowatts I done pulled out of the battery. 8.7 kilowatts out of the battery, and it's only been running for 2 days and 16 hours. And if you see, we own, we got three bars there and we got four there. So it's probably lagging a little bit, but if you can see, this is a loop. The system is basically looping. I'm gonna, you know, have to end this test right here because I'm, I'm basically showing y'all, I will not go past 80%. The batteries will not drain past 80% with the solar hooked up. I do have the solar hook back up because I ended the test at 27% because we had cloudy days coming, which it was really rainy and cloudy yesterday. But I still was kind of bringing in watts 
because it was up and down, you know, to be cloudy, then the sun to come back, be cloudy, and the sun to come back. And you see, we using about, we are bringing in about 13 amps, 700 watts, which is not even uh, 12 o'clock yet, which is the sun is at its highest at 12. So I'm just showing y'all that the system is a loop. I might as well jump over to the Nissan Leaf test. Like I say, I am charging those batteries up. I like to get get those batteries to 100% before I just, you know, do my test on that. But what I'm showing y'all is I'm, I'm, I have every, I mean, I have things running, you know, and I'm not going down 80%. And that's why I said if I bought 20 more, I'm not 20 more, 10 more kilowatts, which would put me at 30 I probably won't even touch 95, maybe 90% on the battery. So I know for a fact that I don't have to worry about my batteries draining. I know they can run for six days straight without solar. And even with solar, we can't even get it down to 80% or get it, you know, to 75% because we, uh, the sun is coming in and it's charging these batteries very quick. Because by 12 o'clock, I'm going to probably bring in 1,400 watts. So that's why I'm trying to show y'all that the system is a loop. Now I know 20 kilowatts is the overkill. Because I say 10 kilowatts will work with solar too because it'll charge it back up. But with the 10 kilowatt, I probably drain it to about 30 to 20%, which I didn't want the batteries that low. You can bring them down to zero. Don't get it twisted. I don't want y'all to think I'm, I'm telling you that you can't bring it down to zero and bring it back up to 100, but why would you want to if you can just overkill the system? You don't even want to get it down there because you can get about 15 years. If you keep it going from, you know, from 100 down to like 80, maybe not even 80, let's just say, yeah, 80%, you can probably get about 15 years out these batteries. And these batteries cost me around close to $8,000 for all four of them. And I know that number might sound high to some people, but that's really not a bad idea. So I can run 15 years. You think about a light bill times 15 years and see how much you can get out of, you know, you probably get way more. I'm probably a buy these batteries back in two years, maybe two to three years on what I'm saving on my electric bill. If you can see that. So, I'm going to end this test right here because, like I say, these batteries work and they will get a five stars from me because I really thought I had to buy batteries from China, but I'm glad I found these batteries out uh, from that from Signature Solar in, 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 out here in Texas, out here in Texas. I'm glad I found this battery company because I really was going to order from China, which these came from China, but, you know. It was here locally, what I'm saying. I'm, I'm in Texas as well, so it was here locally, and I was able to get some good batteries, and look look at it. So I would recommend y'all to buy this. These are some good batteries. Like I say, go overkill your system. If you got a bigger house, let's say you got a five-bedroom house, man, go for a megawatt. A megawatt is a 1,000 amp hours. Just go for it. A hundred thousand amp hours. Just, just go and go for it. Not a thousand. Well, yeah, a thousand amp hours is a, a megawatt. So that'll be a hundred thousand watts, kilowatt hours. I'm sorry. So just go for it. Is what I say. These batteries are great batteries, man. And I will keep like updating the system to show y'all how long these batteries is lasting me. Maybe in about a, you know, the end of next year, I'll probably post videos about these batteries. Or even throughout my test when I make when I do the test for the Nissan Leaf back. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to my channel so y'all can see my future videos that I have do come and I do have the videos with the Nissan Leaf batteries. Instead of running like the AC, I'm gonna run the heater. So once I get these batteries charged up, I know I've been saying that, but it's hard finding a 48 volt battery charger for lithium batteries. So just be on the lookout and make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I am the Texas off-grid guy.